My name is Sherelle Gardner. I'm the Director of Multicultural Student Affairs here at Heidelberg, and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, I'm Alex Wheeler, she, her pronouns, and I'm a freshman at Heidelberg. I am Martina Dimaduk. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, he, him, honestly, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> and I am a freshman this year. During Scholars Day, before I came out, my tour guide made it very clear that this was a nice, inclusive campus, and that was another huge draw for me. What drew me to Heidelberg was the theater program and how like open it was about everything, whether like your race or your gender or your sexuality or just who you were as a person in general. The theater program was very open and I really appreciated that. As a director of Multicultural Affairs, my position is kind of all over the place. It's I'm whatever students need me to be essentially. So for the most part, I do training, programming, and we're working on strategic planning for the university to improve our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. So that could look like practice and policy reform here at Heidelberg for any department willing to participate. I feel like what Heidelberg is doing right now is really nice as for having the gender neutral pod and then having a separate one for freshmen coming in. I was very excited about it. I believe the proposal was actually started by a colleague of mine who's no longer at the university, Cody Benedict. It was kind of his, his baby, his vision of um, what it would mean to create space for himself and for students here. And so I think that it's a great initiative. I see plenty of room for it to expand. If the need arises, I think having more gender inclusive housing is a big plus. It makes it nice for people who still discovering themselves. One thing that's really important to me is showing students they do have power at the university in different ways that I don't. We have been working to get the bathroom signs changed. A group of students who have worked on a policy proposal to change the bathroom signs um, were encouraged to take it upon themselves to uh, add signs and add an explanation of why this is important and why this makes our campus more inclusive. We got a good amount of people involved in that. So I think the challenge for LGBTQ students and people in general at Heidelberg is that there's not a dedicated support system uh, like at other universities. So like, my office was kind of created with the intent of supporting students of color and has expanded to students who just don't have support system uh, formally on the campus. As I said, the theater program is very accepting and open. Uh, the professors are amazing. Um, and that it's not just the theater program. A lot of professors on campus are very open. Just keeping an open mind with stuff is really the best course of action for being more inclusive on campus, making sure, like doing what you can to make people feel comfortable. I think it starts with hiring and recruiting students, faculty, and staff who want to accept people um, of all different identities. Sometimes they aren't really sure how to talk to us. They're like, uh, they, like, they don't know to ask for our pronouns. Like, we don't get offended by that. It's just kind of, okay, thank you for asking. Here's what they are. Maybe just a little more training for like the faculty and any students who also want to learn. I think that it's important to at least start the conversation and show people that this is what students want. Find your power. A lot of things can be improved on campus. I think students are afraid that they won't get support or that there'll be some sort of backlash for doing things, but students are the one group of people on campus who can get away with a lot more than all of us because you're here to support your own interests. Maybe some wise words for anyone who's like struggling to come out or be accepted. Um, it's that you don't need other people's approval. You can be yourself. Um, and there, you will find your people and there will be people who accept you. And you don't have to feel bad about being who you are, whether that's gay or bisexual or trans or non-binary or anything like that. You don't have to feel bad, it's just who you are. 
if students use their voice to speak up and get involved and make change on campus, I think that a lot of things will happen faster and you'll see that there are a lot of faculty and staff and even administrators who are behind you 100%. They just need you to use your power to open that door and they can push through the rest of the way.